like um, like whatever he has, like the badness from before. Before. It's it's washed it washes and wash away. Do you want to sit down? Yes, sure. we'd love to. Thank you. She's prepared three or four dishes. Oh, wow. I always speak now. How long has she lived on the lake? She moved to live here since after the Civil War, since 1979. The Yulis get a real taste of everyday life in Cambodia as they help a villager prepare a meal of fermented fish. She said she wants you to, to involve with the cooking. Uh-huh. Do you want to try? Sure. Okay. <laughs> chop it? Yeah, chop it into pieces. <laughs> just, just like that. This kitchen is more organized than mine is. It's cleaner than mine is. It's very primitive, but it's very organized. They know exactly where everything is. Now it's time to cook. Food. Cambodia never eat less than three dishes. Really? They always have like veggie and one type of meat and soup. I am Cambodian. I like very typical mm. food. Is that good? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Do the families always sit down and eat together, or is it like in the States where everything's scattered because everyone's so close? No, we all are very close. We always wait each other for meal time. That's nice. Yeah. Very Oh, thank you. <laughs> small, no problem. Very small. Chăm tha mau, mau bay buôn, chăm bay buôn, thôi nha tê mà mau quy chăm cho nó mau quy một thôi đi. Thank you very much, Akun. seem like a bad life. Would I want to live in the floating village? Right now, I'd have to say no. <laughs> but if I live there for a week or two, I might shed all the desires and needs and everything I think I need to get by from day to day. Eventually, I'd forget about those because they're not there. It's a good showing between, like, you know, man and nature, and nature eventually takes over. Oh, my God. Oh, that is awful. Do you want to eat the leg? Nestled in lush gardens, a stone's throw from the temples of Angkor, is Hanuman Alaya Hotel. This charming boutique hotel is modeled after a traditional Cambodian household, holy shrine included. Guests can enjoy the jungle atmosphere surrounding the pool and the exotic statues that adorn the restaurant and lobby. A popular destination on an Angkor excursion is Taprong, the Jungle Temple. Built in the 12th and 13th centuries, this surreal monument was once a Buddhist monastery and university. Unlike most Angkor temples, Taprong is the only temple that has not been restored. 
Massive fig and silk cotton trees take up residence in the temple's towers and corridors, giving it an otherworldly feel. Maybe there's truth to the theory that the jungle will one day conquer man. What's for sure is that everyone who visits Tuprom has many oh wow moments, not to mention some of the best photo ops in Cambodia. It has more of a ruined kind of feel and it's a good showing between like, you know, man and nature and nature eventually takes over. After sunset, people gather to witness one of Cambodia's oldest traditional arts, puppetry. Puppet shows are a dance of shadow and song as the animator brings the puppets to life with precise and specific dance steps that produce a range of movements. Supiar Boot is the head of the performing arts troupe. <laughs> Siem Reap has much to offer blazing dance performances, curious relics, and beautiful temples. It's no wonder this rich corner of Cambodia has become a major tourist hub, and no visit is complete without sampling its bustling nightlife. This place, they open very late. Like, it could go to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. This is the warehouse, one of the greatest bars in Siem Reap. Um, looks pretty popular. Yeah, it is. As you can see, there are so many people. Remember I was telling you about advantage and disadvantage of having tour, tourists, tourists yeah. and Cambodia. tourism industry? This is one of the examples, because similarly a town like that, it used to be really quiet, like from 9 o'clock onward, but now look at what time it is. And five it point. is still really, like, hectic. A lot of action. You can stay in a five-star hotel for 60 bucks a night. We've got dollar tequila shots here. Yeah. I could stay here for a very long time and be pretty happy. And like, like, you know, a glass of, uh, a bottle of Uncle Beer is one dollar. Great. A glass of red wine is one dollar, ten cents or twenty cents. It, 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 it's so cheap. It's nice having your dollar go a long way. Oh, yeah. Sam Reap was a really cool place. I can see any of my friends wanting to spend time here. Um, as you're walking down the streets, um, there's nice restaurants, there's nice bars you can stop at. And unlike a lot of big resorts where you can't afford it, dinner or to have a drink here everything's still very relatively inexpensive food and drink aren't the only bargain in Siem Reap after a long day of sightseeing there's nothing better than an expert foot massage especially considering the going rate for this soothing indulgence six dollars six bucks this is crazy yeah. I love this place you see you've seen a lot of miles I don't envy whoever's got to go to work out. <laughs> It's 11 o'clock in the evening. We just spent like $3 on 10 drinks. <laughs> now we're getting a $6 foot massage. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> So you say this was brought here by the Chinese and... No, it's, uh, when, they, when they start, every shop started, firstly, to serve the purpose of Asian tourists. Asian tourists. But then it's getting very popular for European as well. Everything here is still very, very affordable. And I don't think it's going to be that way very long. <laughs> 